Yo guys, what's going on? It is Detective here, and uh, today is another one of those crap tip videos where I just uh, explain some many different aspects about TF2. Now, on honestly, today's video about air shots, it's no fucking surprise that, you know, it's gonna be a lot harder to hit these air shots, you know, when I'm, you know, regenerating health and ammo and these guys are just moving straight. It's a lot more difficult then. Now, just w warning, I'm not going to hit every single air shot. And the reason I just did it on TR Walkway was just because it's quick and easier. Um, so, yeah. Today we're talking about air shots. Um, well, air shots, as if you could guess, um, happen between classes that can get, like, them special kills in the air. It can happen with any class, but um, mostly you'll see it with either soldier or demo. Um, right now, this is demo, and usually what you want to do is demo is just launch people in the air with the, either your sticky or your grenades. Your grenades are going to be faster and probably a little bit more difficult to do, but as you see with the stickies, they get launched up in the air and they're like helpless for the most part if they like land directly on it. But, <coughs> but, um,. Air shutting itself can uh, go many different ways. Usually, what happens when you air sh when you air shot someone, you you're usually supposed to throw down your headset and go oh all through your house, to throw in your kitchen, and back to your computer. And if you get another one, you just quit the game and say you're too good for everyone. But you know, eh, that's not how we do what we do. So you you know, air shots are basically how you predict someone's movements in the air. You try to make sure that they're helpless, so they'll usually go in a predictable pattern. Like, now I switch to Soldier, because, you know, it makes it... Because, um, Soldier is kind of easier to bounce people up in the air. Usually, you'd want to use a direct hit for this, because it gives you, um, the bonus. Because, um, you get mini crits from it. So, as you see, Soldier can, uh, just r launch people right in the air, get them air shots, get them all day, every day... I'm not that great at them, to be honest, you know, um, I'm not saying anything, but um, usually what you want to do when uh, you uh, use um, either Soldier or Demo, Demo's a little harder to make the air shots because his um, items, you, ah, his items work in an arc, while Soldier goes in straight lines, big surprise if you've been playing the game for long enough. So, usually what you want to do, you want to shoot them in the foot, they'll launch in the air, and then you want to, like, predict their movements. Like, usually after a while, you'll get into a routine form, like here, which is usually not going to happen to you. But, if you are able to, like, I don't know, hits, like, say you're on Harvest or something, and there's a person who's rocket jumping, usually they'll go somewhat in a UT a routine form after a while and you'll be able to predict where they're going what they're going to do next it's usually eventually just going to become uniform cuz after a while the air shots just good you no know, the air shot uh, it's raining you all over the place I mean there's a whole bunch of ways that um you can interpret air shots um you can even use math pretty much to determine where they're gonna land um, so, yeah, there usually is a way to, um, <sighs> I forgot what I was going to say there. Oh, well, we switched to Sniper because this is the other class that I'm pretty sure you can get air shots as, like, as, like, a legitimate, like, pro strats thing, you know, got to get that ham out, um, too good. And, uh, Spy is also one if you have, like, the Ambassador, because, you know, you got to get at them mid-air crits. And again, don't be surprised if you don't hit every single shot. I mean, these things can be difficult, and plus, let's face it, the hit registry for Sniper is kind of uh, shit, as you'll see in near future. I mean, as it turns out, like, a lot of classes, you'll need to charge up the headshot for, and usually... Um, if you even just get the buy shot on these people, they're gonna have like a good amount of damage done to them, and usually they'll die from fall damage or something along those lines. Like maybe another scout will come along and just pick them off. Either way, air shots can be pretty effective in most situations, and 
air shots also are super professional. If you're getting air shots, trust me, you'll be surprised how angry people get. Because, <laughs> you're just too pro. You're just too pro for them. It's a quote-unquote impossible shot. And we're going to get a little preemptive there. Yeah, you touched that right before you touched the ground. And, um, Demomen are... Demomen are... And Pyro. Demomen and Pyro are usually going to be your hardest targets for, um... Getting them, uh... Headshot air shots. They're pretty easy for, um... Like, you know, just getting in the air. But if the Pyro's good, he'll air blast that rocket right back. Get you. And <laughs> that's happened to me before. It's... It's pretty humiliating. <laughs> and so you... And so that's kind of it about air shots. I mean, they're, you know, they're fun. They're, um, if you do them, if you get them, they're really rewarding. It's like sex, rewarding at first, but you want, but you hate yourself afterwards. Oh, and here's the hit registry part I was talking to you about. Look at that. Two headshot, three headshot. Gonna give up and start him with a ham. All right. So, yeah, that's really all I got for you guys today. Um, this is kind of a crappy video itself. I'm not even recording this live so yeah that's all i got for you guys today um i am your buddy detective here and i will see you all later